Pop 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 persuadable. Yo, before I start this video, watch this fucking Wu Chang. This Wu Chang fucking absolutely destroys me. First of all, you definitely have to set your position up as a gravekeeper. Sometimes. This legendary rank one. Look at this. He, he fucking. Uh, I messed up. I probably shouldn't have dug right there. But I, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. It was a fucking amazing umbrella. So, hi. Pa, 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 so, I <laughs> so, I've been going from the game for a little bit. Um, after the tournament. Oh, my God, man. It takes such a toll on me, dude. You have no idea. MC and fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. It's enjoyable. But it's taxing. It's tiring. I want to talk about mental health. So, um, I want you guys to know, I feel bad for the younger generation. I feel bad for teenagers because they go through this shit, right? They go through anxiety. They go through depression. Man, that identification phase in life is the worst fucking part. It really is. Like, I'm a grown-ass, I'm a grown-ass dude. I'm going to be about 30. I have a successful career. You know, YouTuber as well. You know, have a big following. People think life is merry. You know, I have a beautiful girlfriend, amazing girlfriend. Dari and I, I mean, we've been together for a year and a half. We still have, uh, we still have butterflies. You know what I mean? Like, I, I have everything through textbook that life would tell you to go for. And um, I, I, I can't stress how even if I try to plan life accordingly, there's still moments of that anxiety and depression. Now, clinically, we know that depression has very specific features, so I don't have depression right now. But I do know the warning signs. I know the warning signs of what it's like to start falling down that hole. And I'm definitely falling down that hole. I look back on my life as somebody who's 30. People ask me, do I take medications? I actually don't take medications for depression, and I'm 100% not against them either. We understand that medications for many people are so beneficial. But for me, I live a very functional life. And it takes a lot of paying attention to. <laughs> including right now. Uh, you have to really pay attention. You have to really focus on the warning signs. It takes an incredible amount of insight. And it takes, to a degree, a, an incredible amount of vulnerability to reach out to the network that you hopefully establish. And you know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for teenagers. I feel bad for young adults. I feel bad for people who deal with this for the first time because it's a daunting task. You know, your, your body, your mind, your spirit, you're going through things that you've never gone through before or for the first time or you have no idea how to get out of the rut. Thankfully, I've established a very uh, bona fide schedule and routine in order to uh, alleviate that sort of stuff. But I do know that right now I started falling down that rabbit hole. A rabbit hole that I'm all too familiar with. Which is why I've been going from YouTube for a little bit. But you know what? What I don't like is how everyone talks about mental health. They, you know, you see a YouTuber who commits suicide. Everybody acts completely fucking surprised. We all act like we're, oh, why don't we talk? But then why are nobody in our positions actually talking about it? And most of the time, the people who are talking about it usually only talk about it when they're in the, you know, to, to almost like validate that they've gone through some shit in their life. But then 99% of the time, they go back to preaching to you about how to live your lives. You guys know quite literally my channel, it's, it's completely chaotic. I think we should all attest to the idea that none of you have no idea what the fuck to expect from my YouTube channel. One day, you'll get a high tier gameplay. Next thing you get a guide. Next thing you talk about analysis on gameplay. Next thing you get funny moments. Next thing we're making, you know, wiener jokes with chicken nuggets. And then we talk about a video such as this. And I don't force it. I actually 
my humor, if anyone wants to know, is all improv. I never plan my humor. I never plan my jokes, except my dad jokes. My dad jokes are all Googled. But other than that, everything is always on the top of my mind. So if you ever meet me in real life, you'll get that sort of spontaneous thing that you are all used to. On a, in, a, in a similar manner, maybe on an off-related note, perhaps not. I can't tell you how many medical professionals, when you talk to them in private, they'd be like, oh yeah, I go through shit all the time. It's it's, it's weird fucking stigma where none of us can talk about it because if we do, we're a fucking of a lesser species. It's so fucking dumb. So unbelievable, unbelievably dumb that none of us can talk about this. Anxiety, depression, and some of you are privileged enough to never have to deal with this shit, right? Which, don't worry, we're not about to guilt trip you. All right, everyone wants to fucking guilt trip people for being normal. Stupid. Dumb. I envy you. So during moments like this, when you see me not posting on YouTube, you know, hardly ever, barely ever, it literally means I've lost my routine. I'm telling you that. That's my contract with you. It literally means I lost my routine. I lost my ability to function in a manner that is consistent with my well-being. It means that shit has gotten so serious. Things in terms of my mental health are starting to affect my well-being. My ability to function. You know, my job, I can do a good job. I can, I can meet if, if I ever feel like I can't, I have the insight to step away from that. So that's, that's not a thing. But it means that I have such little ability to maintain anything outside of my main routine, such as my job, that I don't have the ability to maintain anything else. You start worrying and wondering how you are as a friend. You start feeling inadequate. Every, everyone's different, right? That's the other thing. That's the other thing about depression and anxiety. When people who go through depression and anxiety and then they think that they have the all, like they have all the fucking answers about depression and anxiety. It's so frustrating. Because not only as a person, not only as a friend, a brother, a son, a boyfriend, as a clinician, it affects everyone differently. You can't pretend to know how to fix everybody or how to communicate with everybody about it. Everybody's different. And that's important. That's the first thing that you should understand. And I know that some of these comments may seem a little bit all over the place, this, this video. What I'm telling you is I started going down the rabbit hole. And I have life experience to know what I'm about to be going through. And I have life experience to be able to say, okay, I need to remediate this. Because it doesn't happen often. Not often enough where I need medication. And if it ever did, I wouldn't be against medication. Medication is a great thing, especially to get you off your feet. Not against that. Some people are. Those are usually people with hardly any education in science and medicine. There's, there's also the point of, you know, medication and cognitive behavioral therapy, right? You should be talking to somebody, et cetera, in conjunction with medicine. We don't want to just give you pills and say it's all going to be fixed. All right? What I'm telling you is this, ladies and gentlemen been going through some shit. The past three weeks, four weeks, been away from my girlfriend for months. covid nineteen's fucking with my schedule. Can't see my girlfriend. I miss her incredibly. I love her. Nobody wants to talk about mental illness. You, 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 you get fancy. You get all these fucking degrees. And no one wants to talk about mental illness. Because it's like once you get those fancy fucking degrees, you're, you're supposed to not ask, like you're supposed to not act human anymore. You're supposed to not admit that, hey, I'm fucked up too sometimes and I got to make sure that I pay careful, close attention to it or I'll go off the rails. But we're not allowed to admit it. Because if we do, somehow the schooling and college and everything we went through in order to become professionals is less validated. It's fucking nonsense. And then, you know, the people who do talk about mental illness, it comes with a fucking fancy photo on Instagram, or it's more about clout. It's ridiculous. Whatever. I'm being, I know, I'm being obnoxious. I'm being spiteful. We all have different ways of advocating. I get that. But I want you guys to know, over gameplay, of me playing Gravekeeper, or Call Me Duty, he's doing a great job, isn't he? I'm Gravekeeper, though, so this is all about me right now. 
<laughs> I want you to know your love. Especially if you're a teenager, you're going through some shit. It's going to be overwhelming. You're not going to have all the answers. Make sure you don't make the wrong decision. A permanent decision for a temporary problem. There's help out there. There's people who love you. I thank God. I thank people. And this ain't religious, so don't worry. We're not going to get into that. But I thank, I thank everybody who's around me to help me during those moments as a teenager that helped me later in life to identify certain triggers and red flags. I know this is all going to go away. It's going to be fine. But I want you all to know that at least I'm taking the time out of my schedule, not only as a professional but as a YouTuber, to let you know we all go through some shit and that you fucking loved and that if there are people in your life who are making you feel otherwise, then go fuck themselves with an acrobat red bull up their ass. I love you. Stay positive. Have a good day. Bye-bye, boo-boos.